Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is something new. I've never done a get ready with me before and I decided to do one for my 21st birthday night out so I hope you enjoy it. So I've prepped my skin as usual with my moisturiser. All the products that I use will be in the down bar below. But because I'm going out and it's a special occasion, I like to put a little bit of Benefits High Beam. I just have a little sample of it on the tops of my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose because, I don't know, I kind of like a stronger highlight at night time. I think it shows through the foundation pretty well without being too obvious. So I'm using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Light Foundation in the shade 2.0. Um, again, I'm not using a ton of it and I don't find that I need to set it because I have quite dry skin so this dries to a satin to matte finish on my skin which is perfect and I'm just bringing it down my nose and working it really well into the skin especially around my nose area. And I don't put a lot on my forehead, I don't like that kind of foundation up to your hairline look so I just blend it in quite naturally. I'm also going to correct under my eyes. I'm sorry my camera's a little bit foggy here. For some reason my lens was fogging up. I have no idea why so it's going to be a little hazy for a short period of time but I'm using Bobbi Brown's Tinted Eye Brightener which is sort of like the corrector in the pot but just a liquid version and I use the shade Light to Medium Peach. Now to frame my face I'm using this MAC shadow. It's called Signed and Sealed. It's a very dark black brown and I don't know if this is still available but I've had it for a few years now and I do like to fill in my brows for quite a dramatic look with this colour and I also like to comb it through with a little eyebrow comb I guess just to soften out the look and make sure there's nothing too harsh in my brows. Now to prime my lids I'm using Urban Decay's Primer Potion again another sample because I just quite like sample sizes I travel quite a lot but this will ensure that my eyeshadow doesn't crease throughout the night and stays put and I also run it a little bit under the eyes. Now on to the contouring. I spend quite a lot of time on this because I enjoy it. I'm using a Real Techniques blush brush to get a nice soft finish with Sleek's Contour Kit in the shade Light. This is quite a warm contour so I like to bring it up on kind of higher up on my cheekbones sort of as a bronzer as well and of course I run it along my temples, along my jaw and concentrate it on my chin a little bit more. I don't use any extra product for this I just use whatever's on the brush for those areas but of course for my cheekbones on a night out I tend to pack it onto my my cheekbones. Now I'm getting a, I think it's a 217 or a, two, yeah I think it's 217. I'm bringing a little bit of that contour colour right into my brows, work it right into the hairs and the front of the brow. I don't know, I think it just gives a really fierce look for a night out, a very kind of structured, strong eye look. I don't know, I just really like it and I've also done my nose a little bit too. So now I'm taking the shade Uninterrupted Eyeshadow by MAC and with a flat brush or any brush that you have, I'm smudging this all over the lid. Pretty heavy, you can pack it on pretty well and I'm also going to bring it under the eye all the way under the lashes, just about to where the lashes stop on the bottom lash line. And I'm also going to bring it a little bit above the crease and blend it out a little bit with a nice blendy brush. So with your blending brush, mine's just from Sephora, I'm taking a little bit of that colour on the tip of my brush and without adding more colour, I'm just going to blend out any harsh edges and just make sure the eyeshadow edge just looks nice and soft and pretty. I felt like a bit of a party highlight so I just took this great highlight shade from the Sleek Eye Divine Storm palette and just popped that on the inner tear duct. I'm also taking one of my favourite eyeshadows, NYX Pure Gold, and I'm just putting that in the centre of my lid. I find that it's actually easier to pack on with the fingers, so I sort of use a mixture of the brush on my fingers here, but just down the centre of the lid, not all over the lid, and it'll really make the eyes pop and give it more dimension. As you can see, I'm putting on my eyeliner. I really, really dislike this MAC Black Track one, but I'm sort of trying to use it up. I don't find it glides on over eyeshadow very well, but I'm just doing a basic little cat eye, similar to the one I did in my last tutorial, but maybe a little bit finer along the outer edge, but just kind of giving a nice short cat eye that isn't too long, just a little bit of a flick. This will help our fake lashes look nice and smoky on the outer edges. I'm using the Ardell Demi Wispies, and I find that this really just completes the look if you want to go for a soft bronzed sort of effect and um, it just really blends out the eyeliner makes it look less harsh and just completes the eyeshadow look I think. Okay. 
Okay, now it's time to add all those last minute finishing touches. I'm using the highlighter side from the Sleek Contour Kit. I love this highlighter. It's a really party type of highlighter. It's super strong and I'm absolutely packing it onto my cheekbones and down my nose. Top of my cupid's bow as usual, a little bit on the apple of my chin and a little bit in the center of my forehead. This will just draw the light to all the right places in the photographs and I just really like how it looks. So I've highlighted my cupid's bow again with my cupid's bow liner from Benefit and I'm also just lining my lips with my number seven nude lip liner. I have a magenta lip liner too but I wasn't sure on what color I was going to go for with my outfit so I just tried the pink lips with a normal nude liner first and this is the NYX matte lipstick in the shade Rose Fusion or something. It's a really really long name. I'll put it in the down bar for you guys. Also, I'm just grooming my brows. I am using some clear brow gel or clear mascara to keep them in place, as well as some white eyeliner. This one is called Milk and it's from NYX and I love it. It's a jumbo eye pencil. And I'm also adding some mascara to my top and bottom lashes to blend in my regular lashes with my fake ones. And as well, just to give a more uh, wide eyed look, I guess. I'm also adding some last minute highlighter, again from the Sleek palette, onto the top of my brows just for an extra, I don't know, bit of drama and an extra bit of dimension on the brows. So this is the finished look you guys. I think a bronzed eye is really nice with any form of pink, whether it be a pink lipstick or a pink outfit, it's always a safe bet. But now it's time to choose my outfit. Which one am I gonna go for? The first option is this Motel Rocks magenta, gorgeous, textured satin play suit. I absolutely love it. And then my second one is this gorgeous shoeys or choice dress with this gorgeous blue lace and leather detailing. This it was my first option, but I just couldn't decide between the two. But I ended up going for the pink. I don't know about you guys, but there was something about this piece that just screamed party and festive season and it's just such a fun colour and exactly what I wanted for my 21st. I just got a size 10 which fit me like a glove and I think it because it's such a statement piece and it's so iridescent and shiny, I just paired it with a simple gold chain to add a bit of colour and also my simple strappy black Zara heels. So that was my first get ready with me video guys. Please do like and favorite this video if you want to see more of them from me and of course subscribe before you go. Thanks for watching guys. See you in my next one.